getting into the second floor from here. So let's check out a bit of the first floor. No getting in there. Or there. But we do get some lovely canned juice. And no going in there. However, we are behind a door that was locked earlier. So let's see, nothing else of interest in here. So we can get out. Yes, we're at the other entrance to the apartments. So let's go back and use the main one. So what could one do with canned juice? We already have all the health drinks we need for our nutrition needs and desires. We're not particularly thirsty. However, a large pack of canned juice, it just might have some weight to it. If I could get lined up properly. They are rather picky about that. It looks like the garbage stuck in the dust chute has fallen through. So now to go check out just what was so fascinating. Which means going back outside again. This game does like to make you go back and forth a good bit. But then, I mean, it does have to make you do a bunch of things in an enclosed area like an apartment complex, so somehow it doesn't really bother me all that much. Not as much as Battle Network 2 and, hey, let's go back to Okuden again! The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. So we get the coin, Old Man. And there's also a gossip magazine. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. Cheery. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his car uh, corroded artery. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, or if that's a typo, or what. I'm not good with medical terms. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. Charming. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Charming information, that. So the next point of interest is we can head out here to the courtyard. And the static is already going crazy. Because of this pool. The pool has three lying figures in it. Technically, there is a bit of a easy way to deal with them. You can actually use the handgun on them to take them down from a distance. But it is kind of a waste of ammunition that you might want elsewhere. Ow.
So let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Kind of use one as a meat shield there. Technically, if you can get to the, uh, the baby carriage there in the middle, that's all you really need in here. I see no reason to not go ahead and take out these annoyances. Besides, they're spitting on me. They still have not learned their lesson. That is rude, and I will not stand for it. ahead and picked up the snake coin, but still, you're going down. Oh, you were over there. Oh, not in good range. If you can kind of corner them and get a good downward swing on them. There we go. Good measure, you nuisance. So that wasn't too bad. So now we can get out of here. Do need to get my bearings, though, because there are two exits from the courtyard. And, okay, yeah, I need to use the one that I'm currently facing. There are some other things to do in here. Okay, that's unlocked. We'll come back to that. Charming little bit of graffiti there telling us just where that leads. Stay down. And we get some handgun bullets. And we have a sightseeing brochure. Welcome to Silent Hill. Oh, I've enjoyed it so far. Silent Hill, a quiet lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. How much did they pay you? Okay, nothing of interest in the kitchenette. Definitely no getting into the doors in here. So, yeah, just a lying pamphlet and a box of handgun bullets, but I certainly won't complain about those. Oh, hello. I see you have a friend hanging back there in the hallway. The overhead swing is a decent attack, but it takes a while to wind it up. So that's the main drawback to that. Okay. No getting in there. Or there. They're not even going to acknowledge that particular door. No getting through there. So how about this one? Well, that's charming. Somebody is throwing up. Rather violently from the sound of it. 
Who could have done this? Yes, in case you can't quite make it out, there's a pair of legs sticking out of this bloody refrigerator. Charming. May as well find the source of that noise. <coughs> Most charming introduction ever. safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here. Right? it is. I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um, you be careful too. Well, that was delightful. Now, there is an interesting bit of a point to make here. You can actually come back in here after that unsettling meeting and check out a special room in here. The wall is covered with football posters and meaningless graffiti. I could care less about either of them. As a non-sports fan, I couldn't agree more. You can also notice a football down here on the floor. In and of itself, that's not too strange. Maybe the inhabitant of this apartment just liked sports. But it'll be interesting to note this later. There's nothing really to do here, though, so we can go ahead and get out. And as unsettling as that meeting was, you actually did have to come and see that. If you don't, you can't progress with the game. It'll just arbitrarily say you can't go through this door later on. <laughs> 